guys. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to prepare for MCAT. MCAT stands for Medical College Admissions Test and it's a standardized exam that you take to get into medical school. And why is it important? It's going to determine what medical schools you can get into based on your score and also it's supposed to be predictive of how well you do in medical schools and on the STEP exam. So MCAT consists of four different sections. First section is the physical and chemical foundations of biological systems, so basically your physics and gen chem classes. Second part is critical analysis and reasoning skills, basically your verbal sections, most your verbal section on your uh, SATs. The third section is biological and biochemical foundations of living systems, basically your biology courses and your biochemistry courses. The last section is psychological and social and biological foundations of behavior. So that'll be your psychology classes and maybe abnormal psychology and sociology classes. So the preparation is broken down into three different sections. Number one is college classes. So there are seven classes that you should take in college before taking the MCAT. Number one is one year of introductory biology. So by one year, I mean first semester in and second semester, so basically two courses of biology. Second is one year of general chemistry. Third is one year of organic chemistry. Four is one year of physics. Five is one semester of biochemistry. Six is one semester of introductory psychology. And seven is one semester of sociology. I also personally recommend anatomy and physiology, cell biology, microbiology, immunology, um, genetics and some brain and behavior or some neuroscience classes. These classes aren't required per se but they helped me kind of prepare for medical school and also gave me a better understanding of the required classes that I had to take. So once you've taken all the courses, um, next is step two and step two is content review and <clears throat> ideally you want to do three to four months of content review and this obviously depends on whether you're still taking classes in college or if you're working um, or if you're dedicating this whole time to MCAT studying only. But I think three to four months is a good time frame because it's enough time to cover all the content that you need to cover without being so long that you burn out from studying. Uh, again, this depends on the person. So some people might get away with barely studying a couple months. Um, other people might a little more time. So you really have to ask yourself what kind of person you might be and give yourself enough time. So when you're doing content review, there are some things that you should consider. Number one is how much time you have until the exam date. So you do have the option of changing your test date after you sign up for the test, but I really recommend that you don't do that because it's easy to push your test date further and further and it makes you procrastinate and it just delays the whole thing. So I suggest that you pick an exam date and really stick to it and try not to postpone it unless something really serious comes up. Um, another thing you should consider is how much money you're going to be spending. So there are a lot of prep courses that are available and they're obviously pretty expensive. So um, you need to ask yourself, are you the type of person that can stay on top of your stuff and really be disciplined on your own? Um, then maybe you don't need a, a prep course like Kaplan or Prince Review. Um, but if you need that extra motivation to some, something to just keep you on top of things, then maybe signing up for a, cl a prep class is a good idea. Um, a good way to stay motivated and really stay on your schedule is to write out on your calendar what your, when your exam date is and kind of divide up your content um, week by week or um, maybe assign however many days to bio, however many days to biochem so you can stay on schedule. Okay, so the last step is exam practice and strategies. So when you're done reviewing the content, you have to practice taking the exam. Practice, practice, practice. Um, MCAT is a CBT, which means computer-based test. So you really have to get used to taking the exam on the computer and be familiar with the interface of the exam software. Um, for me, this was a little hard because I was very used to taking paper exams. So I was used to you know, taking notes on the side, um, highlighting or writing, underlining stuff and crossing out answers. Um, and some of these features are available on the software of the exam, um, but you have to be familiar with it. My best advice is to use the official exam that's available on AAMC. They also have some question sets available on their website as well that you have to purchase. 
Um, but I want to I want to say that you should save these AMC official questions until the end because they're really the best predictor of how you're going to do on the actual exam um, since they are um, very similar to the actual exam um, in terms of difficulty. So. You, wanna, you don't want to waste these questions earlier on when you're not fully prepped to take the exam. Um, for me, uh, my performance on the AMC exam was very predictive of how I actually did on the MCAT. Um, so that's a good way to kind of wage, kind of gauge where you are um, in your preparation. Um, some other advice that I can give you is for the verbal reasoning section, you can utilize some LSAT questions that are available. I believe all the LSATs are public, so you can you can use their reading comprehension section, which is very similar to the verbal section on the MCAT, and do those times. You want to make sure that you're doing these practice exams times, so you can get used to doing questions under pressure. So that's all the tips that I have for you guys. Um, make sure that you get plenty of rest before your test date. Do a dry run to the testing center so you guys know where it is exactly and you can figure out how parking works and everything like that. Um, make sure you get plenty of rest before the test day. And if you follow all the tips and if you study hard, I'm sure you guys will do great. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.